The winter time is a really beautiful time in Colorado. There's a lot of different avalanche problems that you can encounter in the Colorado mountains in the middle of winter. What makes the Colorado such a dangerous place in terms of avalanches is the climate. We're far away from an ocean. We have uh, very high terrain, so that means we have a lot of wind and typically cold temperatures. This combines to make uh, a fairly shallow snowpack, and we tend to form structural weaknesses, weak layers of snow early in the season that cause us problems all the way through the winter and sometimes into the spring. And this is what produces the real dangerous avalanche conditions in Colorado this very hard slab sitting on this very weak, sugary snow. Weather is a really uh, major driver for the avalanche cycles anywhere, especially in Colorado. We tend to see most avalanches happening uh, during or directly after a storm. These are what we call direct action avalanches where the snowfall or the wind triggers natural avalanche activity. The more dangerous for people recreating is often these delayed action avalanches. And this is where we have um, some sort of weakness, a weak layer in the snowpack. We have a snowstorm that comes in or a windstorm that builds a slab of snow on top of that. And then it just rests there waiting for a, a recreationalist, a skier, a climber uh, to come and trigger that avalanche. Avalanches typically happen on slopes that are about 30 degrees to maybe 50 degrees in steepness. So if you avoid traveling on or underneath uh, those slopes using the ridge lines to keep your slope angle down, you can really increase your chances of avoiding avalanches. We also have where the weather and the terrain kind of interact to produce local areas where we have a greater danger. We call this uh, cross-loading, where maybe the wind is blowing over a major ridge line and loading the sides of a gully or subridges. And so these are gonna be common trigger points to release an avalanche. One thing that winter travelers should be aware of are areas where small avalanches can have really large consequences. We refer to these as terrain traps, where the terrain will increase the danger of a small avalanche. These are typically rock outcroppings, stands of forest, cliffs, or gullies, where a small avalanche can either bury you deep in, say, a gully, or cause traumatic injury by pushing you into rocks or trees. The most important thing for avalanche safety in the Colorado mountains is to be prepared. Get information on the current conditions. Understanding the weather and how it's going to increase the avalanche danger can be really important. So getting a little bit of training on how to interpret that information and how to apply it in the field. That combination of knowledge of current conditions and a little bit of training will take you a long way as you're climbing 14ers in Colorado.